I'm going to cover a recent study that was published. This study relates to a ranking about the competitiveness of each country analyzed. We are talking about 63 countries and of course Portugal is one of them. One of the metrics used to compile this ranking is public investment. The higher the public investment is in your country, the better position you will have in this ranking. If you've seen my previous videos, you already know that in Portugal we are witnessing the lowest public investment that this country has ever seen in democracy. And this is all due to the lie of the end of austerity. It's a lie because we are actually seeing the biggest austerity ever in this country. And one of the things affected by the biggest austerity ever is precisely the public investment. Public investment is the lowest ever in Portugal. And the consequences in this particular ranking are, of course, the expected ones. Portugal was 33rd in 2018 and is 39th in 2019. It dropped six positions and it's actually the worst country in Europe. No other country in Europe has had such a steep drop. And in fact, in the entire ranking, there's only one other country in the world that has a worse showing than Portugal. So this says a lot to me about the fact that Portugal, unlike what the government pushes for, is not doing well. I already talked about the electricity prices, I already talked about the prices for fuel, the prices for natural gas, the fact that the taxes keep rising despite the fact that we have such low wages. So Portugal is not doing well. And these statistics, these new studies, rankings, whatever, that constantly appear where Portugal is always in the worst possible position or one of the worst possible positions, has clear indications that Portugal is not doing well. So it's extremely frustrating to see that the media continues to push for the exact same narrative, which is of the end of austerity, that Portugal is doing fine. And in fact, if you ask the Financial Times, they will say that Portugal is an example to follow by every other European country. But obviously, no other European country wants to follow Portugal. They may say that Portugal is doing well, because that's what they have to say to look good, or to help the left and far left look good in Portugal. But that's not the reality, because they know, in the backstage, let's say, they know that Portugal is no example. No one wants to follow being the worst country in all sorts of metrics. No one wants that. So they say Portugal is doing great, but in the backstage, they, of course, ignore everything that Portugal is doing. And it's very frustrating for a very small channel like mine to be one of the few actually showing the reality lived in this country. To me, it's baffling that so many fake news are published about such a small country. It doesn't make sense. And to me, the only thing that may justify that fact is that Portugal is a left-leaning country. The left has dominated for 45 years, and it will continue to dominate, apparently. Nothing will change in this country. And because the media in the world is so left-leaning, they will do the bidding of any left-leaning government as well. These narratives contradict everything that is happening in reality. But that's what most people will read and will believe, for whatever reason, because they trust these publications, also for whatever reason, despite the fact that they have shown in the past that they publish so many fake news. I don't understand how you can still believe in anything that these news outlets say. Anyway, this is just another ranking, another statistic, another study that shows that Portugal is in the worst possible position it wants to be. No one wants this. And claiming that this is good, it's clown world. It's the complete opposite of what we should be talking about. We should be talking about Portugal having a rise in competitiveness. Not a drop, and such a steep drop. I mean, only one other country in the world that appears in this list is worse than Portugal, and it's not even in an European country. Anyway, I hope you like this, and I'll see you next time.